Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. I'm going to share with you how to find out which products and services are your most profitable inside QuickBooks Online. All right, so the first thing you want to do is we want to check our products and services. Click on the gear icon and then select products and services. This is going to land us in all of your products and services. Uh, the first thing that we can see is we have all of our uh, names here. If you do not see the income account or the expense account, add it. Click on the little baby gear. You want to make sure that it's visible because this is how it's going to hit your profit and loss statement. Okay, so there could be a scenario where your PL doesn't look right. It's because it wasn't mapped properly here. So if I were to just open up consulting, edit, I want to show you something here. First, it's linked to the income account called consulting. It's also in the category A. Categories are optional, but it, the categories are great if you're wanting to put things in the same category. And when we run this product service summary report, QuickBooks is automatically going to tell us what percent is the category against all of it in that report period. Okay. All right. Um, if you want to see your categories, you can also go to the gear icon and select all list and take a look at your product categories here. This will just help us organize them properly. Okay, now we're ready to run the report. And you can go to reports and we'll find it by typing sales. Quick search here. We'll show you all the sales reports. Now, a sales report, super important, that is only going to generate if you have an invoice created inside of QuickBooks Online or a sales receipt. They do not work for just straight bank deposits. We're looking for the sales by product service summary. Okay, might want to change the date. I'm going to do this year to date and click run here okay so here i can see that category a represents 90 percent of sales not bad category b represents 9.31 percent and column category z represents 0 0.06 percent here so that's that's pretty awesome here cogs is only going to be if you have uh, inventory items set up here and so there we go. Also be aware that you've got accrual and cash. So if I click on cash, notice we got 182,000 in accrual. I'm gonna switch to cash, run report. That just changed and went down to 171K. So that just tells us that we've got, in this time frame period here, from January 1st to May 5th, we've got some invoices that haven't, that were created in that time frame, but not paid in that, in, in that time frame. So. Uh, be mindful of the accounting method that you can toggle back and forth. As a manager of the business, both sides are great reports. Just kind of know the difference. It's different than taxes. This is managing your data, and you, uh, whoever's managing the data should be able to go back and forth and toggle between cash and accrual and know the difference here. All right, so that is the sales by product service summary report great stuff here. If you wanted to drill down and I if I wanted to see the training, I could just click right here on this 55,000 to see what makes up those. And you can see that I've got an invoice and a sales receipt here. That's what makes those up there. So awesome. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.